A tragic and sudden loss for a close-knit community. Tonight, members of Elberton's Bethel Grove Baptist Church gathered together to mourn one of their own. Deputies discovered 86-year-old Otha Perrin's body in a pond Monday morning. They've charged his 19-year-old granddaughter and two other teenagers with his murder. Well, Fox News' George Franco joins us now live from Elberton tonight. And George, tonight's prayer vigil was actually held inside the local firehouse. Portia and Russ, the fire trucks are now back in the fire station here in Alberton. After earlier, there was a church group that held a prayer vigil in the fire station for one of their own, murder victim Otha Perrin. Members of Elberton's Bethel Grove Baptist Church offered prayer and song for one of their own. 86-year-old Otha Perrin. They gathered at the Elberton Fire and Rescue Department because the fire chief, who is related to Perrin, is also a deacon at the church. But it's grateful pain because of a person that such a nice person. Perrin's body was pulled from a farm pond behind this Elberton home on Monday. The Elbert County Sheriff's Office charged 19-year-old Savannah Jennings, his granddaughter, and two young men with murder and other charges connected to Perrin's death. Sin has come in and, and made these individuals do whatever they did. Investigators say Jennings reported the 86-year-old missing from the home she shared with him on Sunday. The next day, investigators say she admitted she lied when her stories conflicted. Shortly afterward, Perrin's body was recovered from the pond in a 22 caliber rifle found at the property. His friends are struggling to understand. No, that will never be a, a resolution, but, you know, we can get maybe some comfort from each other. Otho Perrin was a longtime school bus driver in Elberton and the elder deacon at Bethel Grove Baptist, Elberton's oldest African-American church. Members say he loved and nurtured Savannah Jennings like family. The 19-year-old was the biological granddaughter of Perrin's wife. When she died a few years ago, Jennings remained with Mr. Perrin. Nobody deserves to, to have been shot in the back of the head and then thrown in a lake. We just lost a deacon, and not only a deacon, but we lost a friend.